Hello everybody and welcome to your 12th uh, C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about do while loops so a do while loop is exactly what a while loop does but it guarantees one execution beforehand and, and there's many benefits uh, to this like for if you want to calculate something and then you want to see if a statement is true then you can continue doing it etc etc so uh, uh so basically it it doesn't it checks condition after it does it it does it one calculation so in this case if we had a do while loop it would do this first then it would check the condition is if the condition is true if the condition is true then it will continue doing it over and over and over until the condition is not true and so on and so forth so let us change this around a bit so we're gonna say do and we're gonna say while uh, the way it works is after this we say uh, we say while uh, count is less than or equal to amount less than or equal to amount okay and then we end it with a semicolon right here so this is sen uh, the syntax do the opening and closing braces after the closing braces we say while and we end it with a semicolon so it's gonna do this for the first iteration. Uh, it doesn't matter even if we say, uh, even if we say amount is equal to zero, it's still gonna do this at least one point at one time, and then if it's gonna check if this condition is true, and if it's and if it is, it's gonna continue. So to show you, just to show you that I'm not lying, I'm gonna say that the uh, the amount we're gonna enter is zero. It's still gonna tell us to enter the number one. Uh, if we say six, then it's gonna continue. It's gonna say that uh, uh, since see if you look at this, this our average is one. It gives us a random number. It's because amount is equal to zero. When you do six, anything divided by zero is a indefinite uh, indefinition. It's not a it's not a number, right? Uh, so therefore, uh, we get that random error number. But as I sh as I told you, what it does is no matter what the amount is, it's gonna do this statement. Then after it's gonna check. So if you want to make sure something runs at least once, then um, in a loop, then a do while loop will be suitable for you. But to let you know now that do while loops are the least common of the three loops, and you won't really probably won't even see it much. But uh, yeah, that is it for this tutorial. No, I know it was really short. And the next tutorial, we're going to be making a calculator. Uh, a really, really simple. It's, I know it's not the best, the most fun tutorial, but it's going to combine all the properties that we've learned up to this point into, into one tutorial. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.